the thing is students are people who have auditory, cognitive, neurological, physical, speech, visual, and invisible disabilities, but they're also people of all ages. They're people with temporary disabilities um, or limitations. They're people who use mobile devices and smartphones, right? They're people with limited um, bandwidth and slow internet connections. So when we talk about accessibility, we're not just talking about people with disabilities, we're talking about all of us. Every single person, who's had to connect to something somewhere from your phone or who's been outside or in a place that had poor internet connection. Um, those of us that put glasses on to be able to see a few things. Um, those of us that are a little bit exhausted on Zoom and need to be able to follow along with the transcript. Um, we're all in this together. And that's one of the things that I really love when it comes to digital accessibility is Tim Berners-Lee is the guy that invented the internet way back when. and one of the things that he stated was that the, the beauty and power of the internet was that it leveled the playing field for everyone involved here because knowledge would now be accessible to every person across the planet, regardless of, and he actually included the word disability, right? Um, in all of the other things that he talked about. And I think about how powerful that is, but it only works if we all do a little piece. And here's why. So 98% of the websites in the entire world, the whole planet, have at least one accessibility error, right? I can't win that game. 98%, I can't win that game no matter how many hours I work and how much training I do. But if I train a little bit and somebody else trains a little bit and we all start making tiny differences or tiny behavioral changes in what we do, when I think about that I can do simple stuff like run the accessibility checker in a PowerPoint or describe the, the visuals on a slide and not just zoom through that slide without it, that I can do really simple, easy things that don't even impact my everyday world and it still becomes part of this larger vision that everyone is gonna have access to all that knowledge and all these things, that gives me chills and that is power. That's how we connect. The thing about accessibility is that we have to do it, even if it's not easy. Even if you don't normally allow that, if it's an accommodation that's been granted, then it's happening. Um, I, we also hear my contents behind a password. It doesn't count because my contents behind a password, which means only people who are allowed to get in get to get in. And so I get to have that gray area of the rule apply to me. Um, and that does not apply. If it's posted, it needs to be accessible. Um, we also talk about, I don't know how, right? And we get that kind of like my hands go up, like, I don't know how. What am I supposed to do in a limited resource environment between time and money and all of those things? I don't know how to do this. What do you expect me to do, right? We're gonna talk about that part next. And this is where we started. You can do it and it's not nearly as hard as you think. We have a few tools here at the university, and I'm gonna start with our core tools. The core tools that we have are tools um, that are for teaching, learning, and productivity. They are supported by the UAA Technical Support Center, and you can see the number 7864646 um, posted right there, which means you could call that number and get help with these different core tools from the different um, tech folks that work over there. These are tools available that can be used by all UAA faculty, staff, and students at zero cost. That's always exciting. And you use your alaska.edu account to access these different tools. The link at the bottom of the screen is the link that will get you to the UAA core tool site. And just as an example of some of these, you can see that we have Google, Zoom, the small icons that are over on the far right hand side of the screen are those little red, yellow, light green and dark green dials. And that's actually called Blackboard Ally. It's one of the um, little built in tools to Blackboard that when you post a PDF or you post a different um, document there, it will look for certain markers and tell you, is this accessible? Does it need a little bit of work? Um, did you hit the mark? Is it bright red? Oh no, find a new resource kind of thing. It's not perfect. Um, because it is machine driven, right? It's it's a it's a machine and machines are dumb. 
However, it can help, right? It tells me a little bit more than what I started with so that I even know, should I call somebody and ask for help or did I really get this, right? Did I get closer to what I was looking for? 